I chose this life. And someday, it's going to get me killed. But not today. Hello everybody, welcome back to Grapevine Movie Reviews. I'm Matt Phillips. I'm Yash. Andrew. Mariana. Michael. And uh, we're back to go back. We went back a couple weeks to go back to review a movie that we watched a little while ago. We never got to it. Uh, we're going to be talking about Atomic Blonde today. Uh, most of us in here saw it. Uh, Yash, he didn't get a chance to check it out. If you don't know what we do here at Grapevine, what we do is... Most of the reviewers see the movie. One person doesn't. Everybody does a quick review. Tells Yash what they liked, what they didn't like. At the end of the review, Yash decides whether or not he wants to go see the movie. Oh, yeah. And how badly he wants to see it. <laughs> now, uh, it's been a couple weeks since we've seen this one. So we're <laughs> running our memories. I had to go deep back into our <laughs> memory banks to try to pick up everything that we saw. Uh, but um, let's start with, uh, I guess, Michael. Do you want to do a brief synopsis of the basic <laughs> idea of what the movie is? Very brief. It is essentially a sort of Cold War spy movie. That is what it is. You have you have a number of different nations involved. She is this, uh, I believe she's supposed to be a uh, British agent. Yes, British uh, agent. There's the Americans involved, and then there are, uh, there's a French agent involved. There's so, also, like, isn't there Kremlin's involved, too? Uh, and if, yeah, places, of course, all, yeah. all the uh, surrounding areas, because it's Cold War, everything around the Berlin Wall. All those nations as well. So, and it's set around the time that the Berlin Wall comes yeah, down, basically. Exactly. So, yeah. so it's uh, it's basically she's sent in... Um, to recover an asset, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a fairly basic... Uh, there's it's a this, list. And she's there's a list. She's British? She's a British spy. She, okay. she's, a, she's working for MI6. Okay. And, yeah, the, the, the list was... It was a list of... Names all from... the agents, basically. Yeah, it, it was well, bad agents, all agents, and <clears throat> she the, there's there's like she's on it, everybody's on it, and then there's lists of there's an agent listed on both, which would be like on both sides, which would be like the evil agent, I assume, is what it was. Okay, yeah, because like, like the reason they wanted it was it would reveal who a certain spy double was, is, double yeah. agent, because the, the big thing during this film is <clears throat> they know that there's a leak. And they're trying to find out who that is because they're trying to, you know, get their their thing happening with the Berlin Wall. They want it to come down. Some people want it to kind of stay up. So, But I also think the reason they want to get the list as well is to just keep the names of all the other undercover agents yeah. away from different it, It's agencies. a big danger. Yeah, course. it's a danger. Yeah, they would obviously. just be killed right away. Yeah, if they found out a, a certain people were undercover doing certain so, things. Yeah, a pretty, pretty typical spy plot okay. line in general. On, on EDM. Okay. Yes. So uh, I guess yeah. <laughs> I guess you can take it away. Yeah, yeah, ask a it's, so Start. what I'm really interested in is it's done by the same guy who did John Wick, the director. And I'm wondering, is this movie John Wick without a dick? No. No. Not. Not. No. Even I think a little bit. To me. Not even a little. This, this really. movie will disappear from <laughs> from, that? from the public memory. In okay. Uh, what is this movie? How, how does this differ? Why? Why is everyone calling it that? Because I think John Wick had a very simple premise. If you haven't watched it already. It happens at the beginning. John Wick's dog dies at the beginning. Is murdered. It's a revenge story. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the plot. Like he meets people along the way, kills people, blah blah. And uh, whereas this one, it's all about the plot. Like there's action. Okay. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of music. There's but I'm saying the it's super plot heavy at a point where it can get confusing. Well, yeah. And it's a lot more spy and intricacies and double crossings and. Who's good? Who's bad? Whereas John Wick was just super simple. You you got the story from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. So I, I feel that's how it would be very different from John Wick. Yeah, Miranda just nailed it. Like the the story of John Wick is very simple. Bad thing happens. He needs to get revenge. It's, just, it's an it. excuse for action. Yeah, and then just action <clears throat> just follows it nonstop action. This movie has so many just like 
characters and plots and people doing things and you don't really know what they're actually doing and are they trying to double cross somebody are they lying to this person or are they being honest with this person why is this guy following that guy why is this girl following this person what's going on up here i feel like i was look, trying to look through a forest to see the other side and i'm like there's too many trees here i can't see what's going on over the other side here i just want to figure out a path to where this movie is what it's doing and, and to i, mean, what, be I fair, want to get i want to get led along in this movie was it supposed to i was just I was lost the whole time. I was lost in the woods. <laughs> like, I, I just, to be fair, I, I don't think that inherently makes it bad. It's just, I don't think they pulled that off. You know, ha- had they had they gone and said, like, we want to make, like, a really intricate spy movie. Like, look at something like Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Like, that's it done well. Mm-hmm. This is it done in a way that's more... You know, a little bit too confusing at times, a little too slow at times where you don't want it to be slow, a little too fast at times you don't want it to be fast. So I think it's just, it's not a bad movie in my opinion, but like it's, it was a bit of a drag to watch in my opinion, I guess. I'd say, I'd say like, I think the three of them pretty much hit it right on the head. The, The issue with the movie is I feel it's trying to be smarter than the average spy movie. It looked at John, it, it, it possibly looked at John Wick and said, you know, people think that John Wick doesn't have a story. They think it's just an excuse for action. Well, if they want a story, I'm going to give them a story. I'm going to show them how smart I really am. But what it did was it made me walk out of there thinking, either I'm stupid because I didn't get anything that happened here, <laughs> or you suck. And I think he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so he sucks with convoluted plot and pacing. The pacing of the movie is really it, weird. Well, here's, here's the thing that I think ruins the pacing. Okay. Is the, the, the movie is, uh, the way it's structured is it is based around an interrogation of her after the mission. So, unfortunately, what that does is it means they keep cutting back to a meeting. Essentially, a, uh, a in, very boring interrogation, interrogation in a, a room with a recording device, and it's not an exciting scene. I don't think it's ever exciting. It's not set dressed well. Like, yeah, it doesn't look good. It's, and there's no. It's like, pretty funny, dull. quippy lines or anything. And there's a couple things that she says that are, I guess, are funny. yeah. Like, there's some good dialogue, but but uh, like it's not. It's the way. It, it, and, like you'll have something happening, and then it cuts back to the room. <laughs> right, and I felt throughout the whole movie. That it, there was no emotional stakes. There was no emotional stakes for anyone, anything, or anyone. It it kind of it it kind of harkened me back to like uh, the Spider Man movie that came out, where Peter, there was really no emotional stake. There was no, really no issue with him being Spider Man because everyone just forgave him. There was no nothing ever happened that would make him feel. Wow, I'm really ruining my life, or I'm really doing something bad because of being Spider Man. Maybe I need to really take this back a step and realize what I want in my life. I felt like that's what this movie was missing as well. Like that whole interview with with them in the room, it was kind of like, okay, well, the, neither of them really look like they really care if, she, yeah. if <laughs> she's telling them the truth. And she really doesn't look like she cares to lie to them or tell them the truth or be whatever she's trying to be. But is, is that scene. Is that scene like, oh, we're going to put you in prison? What happened? Like, what is it? That's what it's supposed to be. But, but you don't... Ne- none of them look motivated to do anything. Yeah. Okay. And then there's just this guy I never behind... Got, I never got the sense they were trying to put her in prison. Okay, okay. Right. I, I okay. Okay. Wait, before before we move on... Okay, so he was talking about emotional stakes, but I want to talk about stakes in general. <laughs> is that the fact that they use that interrogation scene as a framing device, and that's how the movie starts. And so you immediately can tell that yeah. that takes place in the future. So everything in the meat of the movie that happens, you can tell like she's as fine. badly beaten up as she looks in that interview scene, she's completely fine. Like she's not good, she's not dead, she's not missing any limbs. She's Which kind of under- it undercuts the stakes yeah. of the show it, or the movie. It, it's kind of like how you feel about uh, Gotham whenever I watch it. it. Every time I watch it, I'm like, nothing's gonna happen to Jim Gordon. We know he becomes the commissioner. So like every time they put him in danger, like oh, is he gonna get his head cut show off? Could like, literally no, do anything. No, he's not gonna do it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. But yeah, if you're going to do an action spy thriller where it's like this this list is threatening to get out and if that does happen, they're going to get killed, but you show the agent in the future being okay, I think that removes a lot of stake from any like, action movie. There's a little bit of like stakes here and there. Like 
Uh, Maybe much like John people. Wick, there, there's a death. Uh, one of, one of uh, another agent that she had a romantic relationship. He dies at the very beginning of the movie, so that that's a bit of a thing that like that's why she wants to be involved. With but again, this. but it, it, it doesn't hit as hard. It doesn't hit anything yeah. because they show they show us that character dying in the first scene of the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you don't even know. It cuts who he to is. like oh, there's a picture of them together. I'm like oh, I guess they're together. Yeah, and then she never like has a soft moment remembering him. Or yeah, yeah. And throughout the movie really they mean. show little clips in here and there, but there was no emotional stake. All right, there's just no talk about stake. the supporting cast. Uh, who 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 are the supporting uh, cast? In James movie? McAvoy uh, plays. Uh, I think when she arrives in Germany, um, in order to retrieve this list, uh, James McAvoy is like a. Uh, Agent? He is or an he, undercover he, agent. He is he an agent that, as they say, has gone uh, feral. Gone feral, okay. or he, so he's, he's adapted he's too well to oh. the sort of wild side of Berlin, where he's almost become like this sex, booze, and alcohol but drug he actually god. Has a point. He actually <laughs> he, he does. He, he I, I, I would actually try to defend him in that. I think sense. he's one of the better part of the movie. I, I <laughs> the think, best part of the movie. Yeah, I, think, I like. He is oh, the best yeah. part of the movie. However, it's not that I don't believe that. He, the way I saw it is, I don't believe that he was just taken a taken to the the, the sex, drugs, and rock and roll or EDM yeah. or whatever you want to say <laughs> that was in Berlin at it's that time. 80s Euro pop. I it feel is. like he is a guy that was playing a game, yeah. and his game is, I'm only in it for me. I'm going to do things for me. So while he, I, I send you here, I'm doing that for a reason so that you can give something to Matt so that he can come back to me. And, and all of that only helps one person, and that's me. Okay. So it doesn't matter. I, even if we, you and me are friends, I need something from Matt. I need to sacrifice okay. you to get to Matt so that Matt can come back to me. I don't really care about our friendship. All I care about is me. Yeah. And okay. and the intricacy of him that way yeah. was good. He was my favorite character in the movie. I thought a lot of stuff that he's doing, I thought as a performance, he gave a great performance. Yeah. It was very, he had a lot of memorable lines and just little things that he's doing that were great. My only issue with the character within the movie itself is I didn't understand why anybody who was working with him ever trusted him. Exactly. He true. was such a weasel the whole movie. Yeah. And, and, and he was <laughs> obvious about it. But in the first segment of the movie when he picks her up at the hotel and we picks her up at, at the at the airport, airport yeah. he literally leads her into a trap and then she goes oh oh I know you led me into that trap and he's like ha ha you can't believe you can't get that <laughs> and, then, and then she trusts him right, right, we're getting way too much into the plot okay let's move on what are the other supporting cast uh, Sophia, uh, Sophia Patella yeah she is the, the love herself. interest slash French agent um, which uh, I didn't uh, understand uh, what her Charlize purpose was Theron. okay yeah I didn't understand her purpose. I didn't know why she I was liked her. I understood her purpose. <laughs> and the purpose was that hotel scene. Yes. <laughs> I don't even think it was that good of a sex scene, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be <laughs> so down on this movie. Because I, I actually enjoyed the movie. But uh, I thought they had a nice romance. Okay. <laughs> to be fair. Well, uh, again, I, I think I there was... I, uh, buy, I don't... With her character, she actually undercut... The initial romance for me for Charlie Sarah, but the I first agree. agent. I like, agree. I oh, cared more is, about that is, one than the no. the old the dead I boyfriend. Agree. I, I that the relationship with the the French agent made me not care about either relationship because I'm like, oh, is this just a thing that she does? Like this is her move. She gets in with an agent, and then when they die, she's oh, like, she kind of feels bad about it, but I'm doing it for what I'm doing. So whatever. I, I thought she. I feel like she moves on very yeah. quickly both times, and I'm like, like whatever. Well, I think the payoff. <laughs> Well, the end of the movie without spoiling, I'm not going to say anything about it, but I think the payoff is that's exactly what she's doing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we weren't, at, maybe, maybe he was trying to make us feel something, but maybe he wasn't. Maybe it was supposed to be yeah. exactly what Matt said. She, this is what she does. That's her that's game. That's true. Because in the end, you find out the real reason why she was, do, why she would be doing yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. John Goodman is he is he like the he's, the he's hardly in it. Okay, he's barely in it barely Sam, in a couple times. That, that, well, this is another big problem with the movie. Ash, for for me personally, I had a hard time trying to figure out like who the bad guy was in this movie. I agree. Like, is there a yeah. bad poor guy in this movie? Like, who are we supposed to be afraid of? Who is the person that's like ruining? And I thought everything? they were setting him up. Because they have the one scene where he's like, uh, he's just like torturing some young kids to find out uh, where where the, is. But that bad guy, guy the information, the yeah, list, the guy who had the list. That bad guy disappears for like the rest of the, the movie, movie. Pops up at the end. So I'm like, okay, so like, who is 
Who is the main bad guy? I think it's because they were focusing on the double crossing of. Oh, okay. And I guess the main agents. bad guy was the idea of this. Yeah. There's the whole movie is like there's a double agent that they call. Um, uh, oh, it's, the it's on the tip of my tongue. Satchel. Satchel. Or, yeah. Yeah. Satchel. So like that's the, the code name for the double agent, mm-hmm. and everyone wants to either find out who the double agent is, or you're like, are they trying to find out who the double agent is? Is or are they trying to cover up that they're the double agent? Wait, what are they all spying on? Like, are they just spying? <laughs> no, I don't knows. know. Okay. They, they because there's sort of disorder during this Berlin Wall incident. Everyone wants things to go their way, essentially. Like that's that's all it really is. Is there's a lot of different countries that want things to turn up favorably for them. So that that's okay. really the fight. So it's not solid stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just I found the whole I just found the whole thing confusing. Like me and Andy saw it together, and I remember like there's a couple times, at least three times in the movie where I turned to Andy. And I just wish for his ears. Like, what is happening? <laughs> like, what is anyone in the scene trying to do? And he just was like, Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, at one point, we both looked at each other, shook our heads. And looked up to the ceiling like, Lod, please just <laughs> tell us when this movie is going to end. It did go on longer than because I it was a it was yeah. really long. It's so long. It would have been perfect. Like, um, wasn't uh, Baby Driver yeah, only yeah. like an hour and it's a half? It's not too like bad. It's just like forty five minutes. It does its thing and it's out. It just does its yeah. thing. It's in. It's out. It, it was very effective. <laughs> and I think if he lessened the runtime. It would have maybe yeah, had a better. Impact. I agree entirely. Mm-hmm. And it I think, is what, uh, what, yeah, what we should talk about next for Yash is action because sure. it is I was a big just action mention movie. That, yeah, because uh, I yeah. Sorry, I did see the end of the movie because, as you know, I work hey, in the theater and no I clean worries. it and stuff, 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 <laughs> stuff like that. And uh, I noticed that she doesn't have the same physicality as that the other action movies did. Like she, her movements are very stiff. I, and, it, the, the big action sequence, the one that they put all over the posters, oh, that's the stairwell sequence. You have to see the stairwell sequence. So I think sequence. the one that you saw at the end is just a quick action sequence. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, that, that's where they quick. try to kill her. Yeah. 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 The, I think the, the stairwell sequence that is the big like selling point for the movie, that one feels very physical. Uh, it still let me down, though. Oh, uh, no. Like, I, I thought uh, from... I can't remember if it was all one shot, but if ever, it was very minimal... Uh, different shots um but i thought every punch landed i thought like it it wasn't just sound effects or like reaction it was like the grunting every every single punch it was like they were down and their movements were slowing down because it was taking so long (laughs) play on Preach on, sister. Oh, I thought Preach you had on, sister. <laughs> no, but I'm saying is it, like this scene is like uh, at least how long? Maybe oh, over it's, five it's minutes. It's a long scene. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty long scene. scene. Yeah. It's a big and action sequence. It's like at first they're just like running at each other and they're just trying to hit is fast. It? But I'm saying as it goes on, like they're like on the floor and they're like slowly crawling to each other and their movements are so much slower yeah. because they're in it's so much the best pain. Part. It's my favorite and part I, of the movie. And I'm saying. That. I'm saying this is like one scene, but I'm saying like I don't see how you're. I here's here's the answer to the question. Really I think it. I know why he's okay. <laughs> it's because it's because coming from the guys that made John Wick, you're expecting cool action scenes, but did, nothing about it was cool. There wasn't they weren't doing any like cool disarming people, shooting someone in the back, putting the gun, gun behind the back, shooting dirty. someone over there, yeah, the person over there. It's just a dirty, gritty fight scene, and like that's they the good thing beat about the it. shit out of each other. Yeah. Like, and before I say my thing, I just want to say amen, sister. <laughs> amen. Because I'm totally on on it with Mariana with that. And and Matt, we looked at each other after that fight scene and said, finally, something. Something. <laughs> <laughs> finally. That's about the other thing. The whole movie up to the, to the point of this fight scene, it's just a bunch of people talking and like spying on each other. And I'm like, I'm sick of this. Can someone do something? <laughs> <laughs> and even though there was a few fight scenes be- between, like, like the time when she went to that apartment, yeah, and, the movie theater, and, yeah, yeah. And, the, and the movie theater, and but they're not of that caliber. They're not of that no, caliber. That, that is the highlight. And when they're fighting, when they're fighting in that room together, it's at, at, it starts in a, it starts in a room. Okay. And that fight scene, it was real, exactly what you would believe a fight scene would be, if. You and you and I just started fighting. 
we 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 couldn't fight here for twenty five minutes straight yeah. with without losing any stamina, yeah. without losing any mustard on our fight, yeah. no, our punches. But like, with the added even, element of fighting to the death, because nice. both of you are trying to kill each other, so it's not just two amateurs. It's like it's two skilled trainers that are like they're like I have to kill this person, but I'm being beating de- beat down and like I'm, I'm tired. Gonna, yeah, and, and, and they're getting and tired. You're just, throwing so many punches. And I <laughs> thought that was a. Ama- I thought it was beautiful. Actually, to be honest with you. Out of all the movies I've seen that have fight scenes in it, it was the most real. Because it doesn't matter how trained you are. I've watched UFC. I watch boxing. Those people still have to sit between rounds and they have to get water. They have to get pepped up. Those people did not stop for five straight minutes punching each other. Imagine trying to do that. If you ever gone to a well, gym UFC and punched a, five minutes. If you ever gone to, if you ever gone to a, 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 a boxing ring or anything like that and punched a bag for five minutes, after that you can't even lift up your arms. Sure. That's exactly how they looked, and I appreciated that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they were gassed. They're just like there's a point where they stop fighting and they're just looking at each other. <laughs> they're just across like, the room like, breathing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ready? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so funny, it's great. It's, it was really fun. I, I, the only part of that scene that I found like funny at the moment too, like it was cool watching that action. And it was, maybe just because I saw Andy again. Is she stabbed like one of the guys like fifty times, <laughs> and then he gets back up and he oh, keeps on yeah. trying to fight her. Why won't you die? And because I think about the Austin Powers is why won't you die? I thought that's what I was dead I think, minutes ago. <laughs> I think what let me down about it because it, it definitely was a great fight scene. But I think in my head, there's been so many like the 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 thing that a lot of indie things are doing now, or, or smaller l- it's the lower budgets. Fight scene. It's the hallway mm. gritty was... low budget fight scene where every punch counts. Yeah, and and it... I don't think it was better than some of the ones I've seen. I think yeah. the Daredevil ones were better. It got kicked and off with the old. I think one even with... like Casino Royale had some ones that were like that style that were better. Did you so, say old boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that's that's how it started. Yeah. So like it, it, it absolutely was a good fight scene. But I in my head I was comparing it to a lot of these gritty fights scenes that we're getting and uh, it didn't quite hold up and I, and I yeah. agree the Daredevil the Daredevil <clears throat> one de- the Daredevil and even Christina Royale definitely yeah. definitely but when you're in a movie where it's 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 barely keeping our interest mm-hmm. in it it was that is it's the highlight, the highlight. Yeah. definitely <clears throat> okay so it was like a breath of fresh air like yes. a room of farts okay <laughs> <laughs> you love that right. saying, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's wrap it up now. Uh, final moments to yeah, convince me to watch thoughts. this movie or to not watch this movie. Honestly, for me, I if I could have gone and just seen that action sequence, and or if, if I could go see that movie with just a person that knew it better and could explain it to me. Because I, I, did, I did, I have since seen it a second time. And the second the whole time... The movie or just... Yes, the whole time. Okay. The whole movie. The second time. I saw it a second time. And the second time I watched it, it made more sense because I got it more. Yeah. <laughs> I was understanding more of what was happening. Uh, the first time, I was just really confused. Like, the action sequences were cool and everything, but, like, anytime there's a big reveal, I'm like, is that a reveal? Like, wh- why is that yeah. a big deal? And I, I, that's my big issue with it. It's the first viewing. It's just a, a lot of stuff happening. It's very convoluted and very confusing for me. That's my biggest takeaway from the movie. Yeah. I, I think for me, I, I didn't I didn't find myself confused during it. But I, I didn't find myself very excited during it. And considering it, it sort of sells itself as, like, it's, it's got the thing where, like, oh, it's spray painting the locations on the screen when, uh, whenever, like, the words come up for London oh, or something okay. like that. It's like spray paint and it's got the, the 80s, 80s music. So, you know, it, it sells itself as this really fun film, but I didn't find it to be super fun, fun like that. Like, I, I enjoyed it well enough. And I think the redeeming thing for me is I, I really liked the reveal at the end. And I thought it it brought it to it brought the things that I was still thinking about together in a satisfying way and left me going, okay. <laughs> like not like I, I want to see this again or I love this movie, but I was like, okay, I I, I enjoyed it That's well a cool enough. Thing they did. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's a cool thing. <laughs> exactly. Very nice. Okay, uh, so as much as I did like the action, and I really liked the performances of Charlie's and uh, James McAvoy, um, I thought, okay, first of all, the Cold War, it takes place during that time. It has no meaning to the story. <laughs> I think they just put, they're, they're just like, okay, let's just do a historical event. Who knows? I think the graphic novel's based during that time, yeah. but it really didn't But they really, could have, they really could have yeah. said it anywhere. Yeah, and it happened it. during the... The so there's taking no mention down of, of the Berlin Wall. Whatsoever. Like, they mentioned the Berlin Wall, and I'm like, they didn't do anything. And also, 
it's uh, also because that took place during the 80s. It, this movie was filled with so much 80s music. And it wasn't integrated well at all. I feel like... Uh, I think the best scene... Uh, the best way to explain this is that she walks into a bar and there's this 80s music going on. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's happening for maybe like 30 seconds. And then somebody lights a lighter and the music turns off. And then you start hearing the music in the actual bar. Like that wasn't even the music playing in the bar. Is that they just put that 80s music on top just... I guess as a filler, because they're like, it's the 80s, right? And I, I swear, as soon as one 80s song sh- uh, stops, and it's like, electro, it's like really synth. Yeah, synth- yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not just any synth. 80s, it's like synth and like... It's 80s European. You see yeah. every song on the soundtrack coming. Yeah. Right. Every song that is a European hit, like a European it's dance there. hit, it's in the movie. No, okay. definitely. Yeah, and it just... Uh, as soon as one gets out, like five seconds later, so, uh, there's yeah, they one. were they were yeah. going for that pop music grab that. Yeah, but it, uh, uh, to piggyback on Marianne's point, it doesn't really hit it though. It's I feel like they they were going for Guardians of the Galaxy in the sense that like all the songs are meaningful mm-hmm. and that like informs the characters in the story, and it doesn't. It just feels superfluous. Right. Um, Andy, I would say I I. I still to this day don't understand what I saw. <laughs> uh, I think it just really had no... It was meaningless. It was pointless. And emotionless. Uh, there was no stakes. The fight scenes, like that one fight scene I did enjoy. Uh, a couple of the other ones uh, I did enjoy. Uh, this is one of those ones where if you see the trailer, I would, I, I would, I would tell you not to see it. Because you're going to see a lot of good things in the movie. In the trailer, and then when you see them in the movie, they're going to take away from them the goodness that you, the little bit of goodness that's there, mm-hmm. right? So uh, the 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 music, the soundtrack that's in the movie is horrendous, uh, and and honestly, there's not much more I can say about it <laughs> other than like I just wish I wish they they could do it again if they had another yeah. tape. I think they could. Yeah. I think they could really. Do something good with it. I just feel like. All right. So yeah. here's my verdict. From from what from what it sounds like, th- this movie is just totally all over the place. They didn't quite hit the. This is an intricate spy movie, and and have it pay off to a point where all the audience understands what's happening. And the only saving grace of this movie, I guess, is the stairwell scene, which which it didn't sound all that well to begin with. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna wait till. This movie comes on TV, and I hope I don't, don't miss that stairwell scene. <laughs> that sounds like the it's best you watch. It's a, it's a, it's a confused. Honestly, I wouldn't even come in halfway if you're watching it on TV. You're going to be very confused. You're going to be like, "What's happening?" Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You need to you need to be watching the movie. Okay. <laughs> you need to watch it. Yeah. So, like, if it's on TV, you have to be like, "Did I see the beginning?" I have to know what's going on. No. Okay. Uh, it's it, it's I don't know. Andy said it early in the review. It's a movie that makes you kind of feel dumb. But not in like a fun sixth sense way. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, oh no, I can't believe I didn't figure that yeah. out. It's like at the end you're like, I still don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's the review this week. Uh so it's guess time to sign off. I'm Matt. I'm Yash. Andrew. Mariana. Michael. And uh join us next time on the Vine, guys. Have a great week.